Amen, amen. Praise God, praise God. God is so awesome. He is so glorious, and we praise God for his perfection, how glorious and how wonderful he is to us. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Supernatural Insights. Woo, glory to God. God bless you, Bernie Ray. Couple girl ready. Bless y'all. Everyone who is here, we thank God for you. And we're really, really, really looking forward to everything that God is going to do because this is the day that the Lord has made and we are here to rejoice and be glad in it. Amen? Amen. So I just want you to know that this is the time that God has set aside for us to come together and to hear what he is saying. Amber Lumpton, God bless you. God bless you both. Uh, Shante Raleigh, bless you. Bless you. Praise God. God is so great. He is absolutely wonderful. So glorious. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I'm going to have to... Um, online. What's up, Ryan? Oh, so excited to be with you. I'm going to have to go off Facebook right quick, and they will come right back on. David will let me know that we are up. You know, I'm really looking forward to what God is doing. Amber, you've been taking care of your dad, who's in hops, who's hospice bound. Praise God. What's up, Mariah? Bless y'all. Your treasure chest. God bless you. K.H. Designs 122. Jack Photo G. God bless y'all. God bless y'all. Everybody. God bless you. God is so good. God is so good. All right. We are now good to go. And we are rolling. Thank God we are rolling. Listen, I am excited about what God is doing and what he is going to continue to do. Come on. I want you to be excited with me because it's for you. I'm telling you now, it is for you. So be excited about what God is doing in your life and for your life. I tell you, listen. Well, Father, I just thank you and I bless you and I praise you for everyone who's watching Everyone who's listening right now, I thank you, Lord God, because you have made a way and you're making a way for people. There are things that, that people have considered. There are things that people have been praying about, and they really don't know what you're saying about their situations, Lord. There are people right now who are waiting to hear from you so they'll know what to believe. I thank you, Lord God, because our faith is in you. It's not in what we think. It's not our own opinions. It's not the way that we want you to work things out. Father, it's only your will. Like our big brother Jesus said, not our will, but thy will be done. So, Father, thank you. We bless you. We praise you. We glorify you. We magnify you. Father, you're so perfect. You're so glorious. You are so wonderful. Lord, you're just, you're just absolutely remarkable. So, Father, thank you right now for the faith that we have in you. And we're going to continue to keep our faith in you. We give you glory, praise, and honor in Jesus' name. Somebody, you have a problem um, in your throat, the very front of your throat. I don't know if it's a soreness or an irritation, but God is hitting it. And somebody right in the back of, of your neck. And it has something to do with uh, your your spine right in the back of your neck is something going on but I, I i know you are being healed by the very might and power of god and i i see one person who has i don't know what it is it it, it looks like one of those cuffs that they put around your neck if you have whiplash or something. But I thank God, God is working in that area. And the Holy Spirit just said this, if you have anything concerning your throat uh, or your neck that's going on, even down to your shoulders, he's touching. He's touching and healing. And if you believe God for 
another miracle. Just trust him right now. We're looking to God. We're looking to God. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. You can touch right wherever that problem is. You can touch it and say, Father, I just thank you. I thank you for being my daddy, caring enough to heal me right now. Thank you for it and just receive it. Father, we bless you and thank you for it. Ooh. Jesus' name, hallelujah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. God is so powerful. He's so mighty. He's so awesome. He's so wonderful. Glory to God. God bless every one of you. I thank God for y'all. I really, really, really thank God for you. Oh, I look forward to seeing you back at church. Amen. Vince H2, bless you. Bishop 3D, bless you. We thank God for all of you who are uh, right now with us. And we know that there is so much more to come. So much more to come. God is doing something mighty in and through our lives, wherein we are glad. Now, we have questions. We have questions right now that are coming in. And feel free to write your questions down. Type your questions in if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook, or if you're right there on Instagram. Hallelujah. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Somebody who is watching Instagram, uh, the first thing the Holy Spirit said is there's a miracle. And as soon as I was about to say that, he showed me. And if somebody's, okay, you know, this is amazing. I don't think I've ever, 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 ever had a word like this before. Cover girl ready. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Pastor, for speaking healing in my throat. Amen. It's done. She's praising God. Healed by the power of God. God bless you. Thank God for your healing. But I never, ever, ever had this to happen to me before, uh, a word like this. But as, as I was about to release the word for miracles or the word of miracles, the Lord showed me a financial miracle in somebody's left hand. And I didn't understand it. And like I normally do when I'm preaching or doing supernatural insights or the like, I, in, in, in my spirit, I'm asking, or the Holy Spirit and I are talking back and forth. When I'm up preaching or here, we're just talking back and forth. And so the Holy Spirit said, Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit said to me that the reason why he showed me a left hand and money in terms of a miracle is because, and hey, just receive it as it is, um, the person is left-handed. Whoever it is, you're left-handed. Hallelujah. And you're about to receive a miracle. Now, I know there could be several people who are watching either live or recorded, and God bless you, Miss Gina, that's left-handed. I don't know who it is. That's the only sign the Holy Spirit gave me. You're left-handed. And it, 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 it was, he just showed me uh, a stack of money. Just like, I, I used to work at the credit union. We used to bind up like all, all denominations. But I saw hundreds. I saw hundreds bound up. And if it's bound up in a uh, hundred pack, of course, that's $10,000. I don't know how much you're going to get. You bless the left-handed person. I'm right-handed, so doesn't apply to me, but whoever you are, God bless you. Thank God for you. So, Father, I thank you for blessing your people with money. Now, God said this to me just now. He said this to me just now. Whoever this person is, you really need it. This isn't a person that can just use it to splurge on something. You really, really, really need this, and you've come before him sincerely, and you're not joking or playing around. You know, this is something very serious. And this is something that you actually need. And God is most definitely meeting that need. So all I can tell you now is just rejoice. Just rejoice. You have it. In Jesus' name, you have it. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. All right. We're going to get to the questions. Kevin asks, hi, Dr. Wall. God bless you, Kevin. No, I'm sorry, Caitlin. What's up, Caitlin? God bless you again, daughter. I really want to get, get to the point where I hear the Holy Spirit's voice clearly. How can I build a relationship with him? I've been asking him questions, but I haven't been hearing any responses. Um, like I always uh, like to suggest to people, 
if you're not hearing the Holy Spirit, what's up, Jay? God bless your daughter. If you're not hearing the Holy Spirit, talk to him about what interests him. And sometimes in talking to the Holy Spirit about what interests him, you'll, you'll find that, that what is happening is we, we're, we're, we're dealing with, I, I was just getting a message from uh, my producer. You'll find that what's happening is we're getting a little, a little off, okay? And what, what I mean by that is we begin to ask him questions that have nothing to do with where he's focused, where he's focused concerning us, where he's focused concerning our lives, where he's focused concerning who we are. So ask the Holy Spirit questions that deal with him, okay? What do I mean by that? Listen, please listen to me carefully. There are times that whenever, whenever we go to the Holy Spirit, we see things happen and we talk to the Holy Spirit, we go to God about it, but we always go in a way that affects us. We always talk to God according to how the situation is affecting us. The Holy Spirit was just, just dealing with me concerning that when I was in the car. And I had to repent. I literally had to repent before God. I'm, I'm going to do a real in-depth teaching about this, but he said this to me. He said, when things happen, what we do is we say, well, this is going on, and that's going on, and the other is going on. And it's always how it affects us. And you know why that's not good? Because we're not looking through the eyes of God. For example, if you were, okay, your child slaps another child, all right? at recess. And your whole point is this. Wait, wait, wait. What? You did what? You slapped the child at recess? Now, the reason why you're really upset is because you're running for PTA president. So you're going to God, Father, 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 please don't let this affect me being president of the PTA. Who's going to vote for me if they find out you slapped another child. Oh my God, they're going to say, if you can't handle your own child, how in the world can I vote for you to be PTA president? So a lot of times our prayers are selfish. Just have to be honest. It's selfish because the situation I'm going through or somebody else is going through, how is it affecting me? And so we pray a very selfish prayer. We pray selfishly because it's affecting me this way. God, you know, no, no. How is God looking at it? Hallelujah. God just dealt with me about this today in the car. So I had to repent to God. I said, Lord, forgive me for every time I prayed selfishly because of how a situation is affecting me. And you should, I should be praying for a, concerning however God is looking at the situation. So a lot of times when we talk to the Holy Spirit, he doesn't respond. We're asking God for something and he doesn't respond because we're praying, hey, son, Raph, what's up? We're praying selfishly. So selfish, so selfish. And you can't have love and selfishness. This is something else the Lord said to me. The Lord said this, and I know I got to get more questions and I promise I will not take up so much time because we only have 15 minutes left. But the Lord also said this to me. Perfect love, hallelujah, as the scripture says, casts out fear because for a situation, you cannot be selfish and love at the same time. 
We just cannot. So perfect love casts out fear because you can't, if you love, you're not selfish. And if you fear, you're fearing because of yourself. So perfect love, when you love concerning that situation instead of fearing concerning that situation, you can't do both. It's just no way. So I just thank God for that. So talk to the Holy Spirit and say, Holy Spirit, this is the situation. How should I pray about it? We need to ask the Holy Spirit, uh, how should we pray about a situation instead of just immediately going to pray about a situation? How is the Father looking at this? God bless you, Lamont. Thank you for joining. How is the Holy Spirit looking at this? Amen. God bless you, Caitlin. Thank God for you. Marky E asks, hey, Mr. Wall. Hey, Marky. I had a dream that a lady told me, I will take care of you and your children. I don't have any kids yet. What does this mean? Well, I don't know. Maybe one of these days we'll be able to put up something right there, right where are we, right there, that says, ask the Holy Spirit. I'm not sure. Now, let me tell you how my gifting works. When someone asks me a question, if the Holy Spirit doesn't give me the answer immediately, I'm not saying a word. You want to know why? Because after I, re hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Hmm. Hallelujah. Yes, God. Thank you for your touch. Thank you for your word. Yes, God. This is wisdom for you. And this is understanding for you. All right. If I don't get something immediately from the Lord, if the Holy Spirit doesn't give me immediately, give me a word immediately, I'm not going to say anything because now I'm giving myself time to think about it. And so what am I going to do? I'm going to give you what I think. Y'all don't want to hear what I think. Y'all not tuned in now. Y'all don't um, subscribe to my email or, or anything. Buy my books or anything like that to hear what I think. You want to know what the Holy Spirit is saying. And that's just how my gift works. Whenever he gives it to me immediately, I know it's the Holy Spirit. I don't care if it's interpretation of a dream or anything. If I don't get it immediately, I just leave it alone because I'm not going to give you uh, out of the issues of my heart. Uh, I think if no, I don't, I don't even want to know what I think. When I go to God, I already know what I think. I want to know what God is saying. I can't put faith in what I think. I only, hallelujah. I put faith in what I know, in God. I put faith in God. And whatever he gives me, that is what I know. All right, Mark E, go to God. He's going to speak. Don't, don't, don't doubt. Not saying that you do. God bless you, Black Eyes. God bless you. Thanks for joining. Don't doubt, and that's this is for everybody. Don't doubt that God's going to speak. Don't doubt that he's going to answer you back. A lot of times we don't talk to God in conversational format because we doubt that he's even going to speak to us. No, don't do that. Go to him. You're my father. You're my father. Ask him what he thinks about things. Don't go to him with your own thoughts. Talk to him. God, what are you thinking about? What do you think about me? Oh, he loves that. He loves it. What do you think about your child? What do you think about how I handled that? You know, what are you saying about this situation and that? And and don't go to him like, oh, I just hope you answer. Like it's a shot in the dark. I hope I hit it right. No, that's your dad. I'm asking you a question. Go relaxed to God. Don't go tense. You know, I know some some situations can can be intense, but go to God just chilling out, all right? Just chilling out. Amen. God bless you, Amber. Amen. So relax. Go to God, relax. Amen. God bless you. I had a Facebook, I had a question in my Facebook messages, and they asked, they asked this. They said, thank you for your ministry. How do I, or rather, how do you tell if someone is, if something is an imagination versus a vision from God. How does this work on an everyday basis? Like with making shopping decisions or planning time off from work. Great, because um, in the word of God, of course, we know the scripture 
that says casting down imaginations. And that's what we're supposed to do, cast down imaginations.